Could you talk a little bit more about where you see Sassitus Mab and, and what its future is in urothelial cancer? Great question, Michael. I would say Sassitus Mucoviticans is a long story. If I can summarize it in a few sentences, antibody drug conjugate against strobe 2, carrying the payload of toposomerase 1 inhibitor, SN38, and metabolitofirinotecan. That drug received accelerated approval based on phase 2 trial data, trophy user one cohort one in 2021. Overall response rate was about 28% after multiple prior therapies in a heavily pretreated patient population. Accelerated approval was given based on that data and the contingency was to do a phase three trial that we did, Tropic 04, phase three trial comparing such Govitican, this antibody drug conjugate against taxane or vinflunin in some places in Europe. That trial reported, I had the opportunity to present the data in Singapore, SMS in December. It was a negative trial, meaning it did not meet the primary endpoint of significant difference in overall survival between satituzumab and docetaxel or, or, or viflunin or paclitaxel. I think that trial had a lot of discussion at that meeting, and of course the paper was published in an Analysis of Oncology. One of the major drawbacks was the low utilization of growth factor as primary prophylaxis, and there were many neutropenic events, grade five events, that happened in the satsuzumab arm. Because of that, <coughs> the FDA, as you said, discussed, of course, reviewed the data, and the company withdrew satsuzumab govitican from the market voluntarily, formed a static urothelial carcinoma, it still has breast cancer indications. It's still listed, satsuzumab is still listed in the NCCN guidelines, uh, based on the phase three and phase two data we discussed today and it's still listed as an option. So I might use it in my patients personally after I exhaust other life prolonging therapies later on, it might be an option in carefully selected patients and if I use it, I do it with growth factor as primary prophylaxis. And of course it makes a discussion with the patient about pros and cons, benefits and risks in the context of this data set we discussed today. So if you use it, use it with growth factor as primary prophylaxis and the data we showed here at ASCO this year short to trial, neoadjuvant, satsituzumab, pembrolizumab, interesting trial, not practice changing, but showed activity, significant activity, with satsi io combination. And the medley trial we're seeing tomorrow, a very interesting switch maintenance setting, satsituzumab, avelumab maintenance, also showed interesting data. I think the take-home message is satsi tuzumab is an active drug. It has to be given with growth factor as primary prophylaxis, not FDA approved so, so far. We, we use it as monotherapy for now, there is no, of course, you know, use with combination with immunotherapy, but I think we need to probably do another trial, in my opinion, looking at such immunotherapy, and that trial is being discussed mm -hmm. in the cooperative group setting. It's called Ecocachrin 8231, Sachi plus Pembro versus chemotherapy. It's in the works. We'll see whether we can pull it through.